Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today just a quick overview of the status lights on your Virgin Media Hub 5 and things to try if it's not working properly. It can be really frustrating if you can't get onto the internet so just relax first, have a lovely cup of tea and then let's get cracking. Before I take you through the status lights, if your internet is not working, the easiest thing to do is power off your Hub 5. At the back, you've got this power off switch, just switch that off. If you can't locate that switch, locate the plug, leave that for about 30 seconds. And then 30 seconds later, if you just switch it back on and hopefully that will fix your internet. If you've got a solid white light, that means everything is okay and the hub should be working completely normally. If you've got a flashing white light, it means that the hub 5 is actually booting up. So just let that carry on booting up and hopefully the light will go solid. If you've got a flashing green light, it means that the hub 5 is just downloading a software update and it might take a few minutes and then it will do a reboot and then hopefully your internet connection will be working. If you've got someone that wants to connect to your internet and doesn't want to put in the password, you can use the WPS button, which is the Wi-Fi protected setup. If you push this button, it means that someone can connect to your router by just scanning this QR code on the back. While someone's trying to connect to it, you will get a flashing blue light. This will flash blue for about two minutes until someone actually connects to your internet. If they connect successfully, this will stay blue for about 20 seconds. If it carries on flashing blue very quickly, it means the connection has been unsuccessful and that they should try again. If you've got a red light on or a red light flashing, this means there is a problem with your connection. This is slightly more serious. What you need to do then is just make sure that all your cables are connected in properly. You've got no loose cables anywhere. At the back of the Hub 5, just check the cabling. This is the main cable which comes in. This literally just wiggles off and pulls out. It's not on a screw system. That just pushes in, so make sure that's got a really good connection. Just unplug that and then push it all the way back home. Then just check your other cables. Obviously everyone's setup will be slightly different to this one. Then just follow the cables back. This one is actually going into the back of the TV TiVo box. So just double check the connections on here. Got a cable in there for the internet and the input cable. Then also check your wall box where the cabling comes in off the street and make sure that that is all okay. I hope you found that useful. If unfortunately your internet is still not working, you will have to call Virgin Media and get an engineer out. In the top right is a video on how to change your Wi-Fi password on your Virgin Media Hub 5. And in the top left, how to change your Wi-Fi network name and your Wi-Fi password. That's really useful if you want something more meaningful like Lurg's Wi-Fi. I think it's time to put the kettle back on.